Hey my babies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Raya J and I'm back with another video. Today is Thursday, my babies. It's Thursday, it just turned like Thursday afternoon. And here we go. We having another uh, situation here at the Raya J's residence where in the middle of my bath, my hot water goes out. So I'm a little off, but I hope you all cannot tell okay we're gonna push through so yeah today is thursday i hope all is well with you all all is well with me and i hope we all are continuing to stay uh about happiness peace and love <laughs> and i hope we all are continuing to stay determined motivated and focused and i hope we all are continuing to walk in the alignment of stars that allah has for us so in today's video, I'm going to be giving you all another story time video. And in today's story time, I'm going to be telling you guys about the time where I was blacked out drunk, okay? And my friends let me walk home alone. And let's just say that I, I, I ended up being safe and sound, but everything was just crazy, all right? So let's get right into it. So this probably was like a weekend and the only thing I can't really pinpoint of this story time is if I was still living at my friend's house and I was 17 or I was now living at my father's house um, at 18, you know? So I just can't pinpoint about what age I was, but it was definitely between those two ages and I just don't know where I was living. But you know, me and my group of friends, I used to have this group of friends, well I had a lot of friends, but you know, my friends in the hood, I had this main group of friends and you know, we used to go hang out in a trap and hang out and you know, do what we do or whatever. And this particular night, it had to be a weekend, this particular night, we was going to hang out at the trap with some of our guy friends and you know we was going to get lit you know so we we smoked like we pulled up at the we pulled up at the trap and we smoked like 12 fucking blunts like literally we smoked 12 blunts ciphering it was like it was a lot of us but we just were ciphering the blunts or whatever and then we had um y'all know the incredible hawk drink i think you mix the blue alizé with henny and then ice and the blue hawaiian um punch juice or whatever and you make like this you know brownish bluish concoction and they called it the incredible hawk i think that's the ingredients of the drink but <laughs> that's the kind of drink we had which obviously mean we was getting lit i mean lit okay and back then i used to get so effed up y'all i i tell y'all my story times and y'all can clearly hear it in my story times that this is not a joke this is not a lie i used to be i used to be really really wild like just smoking hella weed doing shit drinking a lot you know just getting effed up so anyways back to the story so at this particular trap house it was kind of weird because when you when you say when you think trap house you think like this is a abandoned or vacant apartment or whatever and you know everybody just comes here and gets lit but this particular trap it was actually one of our guy friends's um mother's apartment like he actually lived there with his family like it was him his fam his, his mother his sisters and and you know all of all of his friends used to come to the house and we used to chill we used to chill in his living room in his room he used to blast music he used to you know do a lot of other things and you know we used to get effed up but you know back to the story <laughs> So this particular night, I didn't even know that his mother was in the back room. But we was, it was, it, we was deep. It was so many of our guy friends there, and then me and my homegirls there, and we drinking, we smoking, and I just, I got so messed up, my babies, that I blacked out. You know, I blacked out. But you know, I, I do remember. But I was blacked out to the point where I needed help getting to where I was going. You know what I'm saying? My destination. And you know, this is actually the the, the the night and day that I found out that my friends wasn't my friends. Okay? This was way before I had Wookie. You know, I was in these streets wilding out. You know, and 
a lot of more things as far as the friendship with those girls a lot of more things happened as life went on because you know you you know these group of friends they was catty drama filled and you know just it was just a whole like we fought a lot we argued and then we forgave each other and made, made back up but you know this particular night um i knew that these girls wasn't my friends and then i forgave them again and life went on and and and, and they did more things and it just you know they wasn't loyal they wasn't loyal they it wasn't real friends and you know I couldn't fuck with no bitches like that you feel me like I'm all about loyalty and shit I'm all about we're friends then I got your back you got mine and most importantly we're friends so you know don't don't be in no fake and phony shit because I don't do that you know what I'm saying I am a real friend you know so anyways back to the story so I just got so messed up and his mo it was getting late and late later in the night, you know, so his mother actually came out to the living room where we where we were chilling and she was like, Y'all gotta go. Tell your friends that it's time to go. So she basically put us out, you know. I guess we was getting too loud, the music, the smoke or whatever. And um, you know, so everybody was getting their stuff and we was rolling out of his crib or whatever. And I couldn't get up. My friends was like my friends was like, Raya, let's go. You know, we, we about to we about to dip. So I'm like, I'm like, bitch, I can't get up. <laughs> oh my god, this is so embarrassing. And I'm like, I can't get up. They like they laughing, you know, because you know, you and your friends, y'all we joke around, everything is silly and funny and all of that. So they like, bitch, let's go. What are you talking about? You can't get up. I'm like, bitch, I can't move. <laughs> So they was messed up too, but they wasn't as messed up as me. I finished my whole ice cup drink. I smoked all the blunts. Like I was even drinking some of my friends' cups. You know, I was just so messed up. And I, I, I found the strength to get up. So you know, I'm like stumbling to the door. So I get to like the whole the the um the doorway part. You know, right before you walk out of the crib. And I fell. Literally, I fell and I'm literally laying down like I'm fucking sunbathing on the on the beach. I'm laying down on my stomach, my head is flat down, and I'm like, I can't get up. I'm like, help me up, y'all, yeah, help me up. So everybody's weak, everybody's laughing, cracking jokes, thinking that I'm joking, and I'm not joking, my babies. I literally was so drunk. So I don't know why, but he had one of the um the boy that it was his crib. He had a wheelchair in his crib. And he was like, yo, y'all need to get her up because now the mother came from the room again and we still wasn't out the crib. So she was like, yo, I told you and your friends to get out, get out of my house, get her up. I'm laying on the floor. The mother's tweaking. She like, get her up, get her out of my house. I don't want none of this. I'm, you know, it's getting late. Y'all need to go. So everybody's laughing or whatever. So now the boy whose crib it was, you know, which, you know, the trap, he was like, yo, y'all need to get her up. So my friends is like, Raya, get up, get up. I'm like, I can't. Can y'all help me up? You know, and they really being stupid. Like, I don't know what kind of fucking friends I had growing up, but clearly these bitches was never my friends. So even it's even even something as simple as this story. So let me hurry up, right? So they helped me up and sat me in the wheelchair. Now, you know, these young, stupid, drunk boys. You know, which which I thought literally was my homeboys. Clearly, they wasn't because they was just playing too much. So they all of them picked me up, put me in a wheelchair, and they rolled me, literally pushed me in the hallway in the wheelchair and pushed my wheelchair <laughs> down the hallway and just let me like roll down the hallway. And they was just cracking up. So then it's time to get in the elevator. The elevator came and they pushed me in the elevator and I banged into the elevator and I'm like, oh my God, are y'all serious? Like, stop playing. Like, and they like, you stop playing, get up or whatever. You're not that effed up. Everybody just thought it was a joke, but really I was like on the verge of blackout drunk. So we in front of the building or whatever and we all just laughing, chilling or whatever. And I had my Blackberry at the time. And if y'all watched my story time when I told y'all about when my friend's um, dad picked me out to a Dominican, then this is like kind of a continuation of that story time because y'all gonna know how and why, you know, how and why obviously I lost my Blackberry, which was the phone that my, 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 my sugar daddy had got me. <laughs> so go back and watch that story time as well. So actually, um, so literally they pushed me in a wheelchair, banged me into the wall, 
And, um, you know, now we in the elevator. We get downstairs in front of the building. Everybody's laughing, kicking, joking, or whatever. Everybody's effed up. But I'm literally, like, drunk. I'm, like, literally messed up. And so I remember texting my boo at the time. And my boo was like, when, what time are you coming home? Because I was, like, I don't, like I said, I don't know if I was still living with my friend or I was at my father's house at this time. But I used to spend a night out a lot. Like, I used to stay with my, with my guy friends. I used to spend a night at my homegirl's house. I just used to be out in these streets, you know, because I didn't want to be home or whatever what I was going through. And so I'm te I remember texting him and I'm, he was like, you coming through? What, what time are you coming home or whatever? You done chilling with your girls? And I'm like, yeah, we done chilling or whatever. I'm in front of, I'm in front of the building. I'm about to come. I'm going I'm to tell my friends to walk me to the building. I remember texting him that, telling my, my boo, like, all right, I'm on my way. So I'm telling my friend, my friends is like, all right, you going home or whatever? I'm like, y'all, I need y'all to walk me to, to my, my friend's house or whatever. So they like, B, we not walking you there. What you think this is? We finna go home. Some shit. They they just really dumb me and they did not want to walk me to my destination my destination, which was literally like a block and a half to my boo's house where I was staying at, you know? So I just remember was I was just like, F it, you know, I'm gonna get there on my own. But y'all know that I'm on the verge of blackout drunk. So literally I walked of the block and a half I don't know how my babies it had to be by the grace of God that I survived this night because let me tell you right I walked the, the block and a half and then I got to the building and it was a specific building where you need like a special key to get in the building where I was going my boo's house and I've, obviously I don't live there I'm just staying with my boo so I don't have the key you know and then when I'm trying to search for my phone I got to the building and I'm trying to search for my phone and my bag and my my, my outfit or whatever my phone was lost okay now i i don't know i just didn't have my phone so i couldn't even tell him like yo come downstairs and open up the, the door blah 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 so somebody came out the building out the door for me to get in you know so i so the person opened the door i'm like thank you i walk through i get on the elevator somebody this is the point where i don't remember i just remember getting on the elevator and then getting off the elevator and laying the fuck out right in front of the elevator and then I remember somebody being like, excuse me, miss, are you okay? Do you need help? And I was like, no, I don't need help. Don't effing touch me. Like, I like, I cursed the dude. I think he was like a white dude. I cursed him out. Now, I still couldn't find my phone, you know? So at this point, after, because I felt like, oh my God, Raya, get up. I'm talking to myself. I'm drunk and I'm talking to myself. I'm like, Raya, get up, get up. Like, what if you get raped or whatever? You know, you get kidnapped. Girl, get up and at least make your way to his door. So I was on the floor. I was just in the hallway laid out again. And I just remember getting up and stumbling to his door. Now, the next thing I remember, my babies, I woke up the next day and I'm asking him, how did I get here? And he's telling me, yo, you told me you was on your way, so I was expecting you, but you never knocked on the door. Something told me to go check my door. He was like, Raya, when I opened my door, you was laid out in front of my door. Sleep, knocked out, laid down like this on the floor in front of his apartment door. So, you know, he like dragged me in, <laughs> picked me up, took me downstairs to his room undressed me and then you know he he said he let me sleep now that's the only part i don't really know about you know i don't know if he let me sleep or he probably got some ass that night you know because i was so messed up but y'all that is the story time of how my friends let me walk home you know blackout drunk and you know they didn't care about your girl they didn't care, but you know, this story time is to just let y'all know that clearly I've been through a lot of things, you know, and I used to get really effed up back in the dizzy, but just be careful out there and make sure your friends that you hang with and you go out with or whatever are really your friends and have your back and want you to be safe and sound and all of that and get to where you need to go and they don't just abandon you talking about some no B. I'm going here. I'm not walking you over here. Like, what kind of friends is that? Clearly, those was never my friends. But just like I said, 
at this point in time and, and, and at that point at that point and moment of my life, I knew that those girls wasn't my friends, you know. Not that family members didn't tell me already, but you know, just certain things used to happen in the friendships that I had with these girls and they didn't really care about me. They was envious of me, they didn't care about me, they was using me, and I'm really a great friend. Like I really used to feed these girls, you know, take care of these girls, light these girls up. To take these girls to meet my friends bring these girls to my house to chill I mean, I did so many things for these people as they did for me, but I'm just a, a I'm just a giving person, you know, that's just naturally who I am, you know So I want to see the people that I love and care for happy and I want people to be okay So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in my next video